over 180 women from 21 different sororities at Penn State University came together on Monday night to volunteer with the soldiers' hands to write cards and make care packages for U.S. troops. I think that they left with more than just service hours. I think they left with a, um, a feeling that they did something that's going to impact another person. A soldier's hand has distributed over 25,000 individual care packages for U.S. soldiers overseas. Founder Trish Schallenberger said that it all started on a flight back to Philadelphia. In 2007, Schallenberger was flying back to Philly from Dallas. She was seated next to a soldier deploying to Iraq, whose hands were torn up from hard work. She asked if she could send him a care package. He told her he couldn't accept a gift unless everyone in his unit could have one. And he left the airport that day. He told his buddies that he met this lady on the airplane and she was going to send his care packages. There were 177 people in his unit, so she got to work and that Thanksgiving day, they all received a care package. Then in 2013, a request for 800 service members. The request kept coming and eventually the soldiers' hands became an official nonprofit. I'm really inspired by the story and it's so exciting to see so many girls show up for the story and to make a difference in the Penn State community. Student Maddie Lister was one of the women there on Monday. Schallenberger appreciated all the work they did to support her organization. Their next big project will include 6,500 care packages. As of right now, they have about 1,600 completed. In University Park, I'm Carly Knowlton.